Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're very well today. So you may have guessed by the title of this video, but today I'm going to be doing another curling my hair video. I haven't done one of these in about a year now, so I thought, why not come back and kind of just do a bit of an updated video. The last time I did this, I had gotten a new curling iron. It's the one that I'm using today. This is the Babyliss one with different extensions on the end. This is the extension I'm using. However, there are a lot of different ones you can use for like crimping or straightening or different bowels for curling but this is one that is my favorite and this is one that I've been using all of the time so if you guys want to see how I curl my hair make sure you stick around and I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get straight on with it So recently my favourite thing has been curling my hair. I feel like your hair just kind of sometimes frames your face and it's just one of those things that I've been trying to focus more on is looking after my hair and just kind of taking more care of it and just kind of styling it more because it just makes me look so much better and so much more professional and I feel like I just like the way it looks personally more. So I've got my hair partially straight and I just went over it quickly with the straightener and then I'm going to be using this wand here to curl it. So when I actually do my hair I like to tie it up in sections because I feel like this ends up with better results. So I like to do my hair in thirds, some tiny top third up now with a bobble the bottom third is usually the smallest and the middle is usually the biggest so I'm just going to grab the middle third now and I'm going to grab the third from the top as well in with this so I can wrap it in a bun together and now I've got all my bottom bits here ready to curl so I'm just splitting it in half from the back of my head and I'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front so I like to grab decent sized chunks, I don't want them to be too small or too big. So about this much of hair and then I wrap it slowly around my barrel and just hold it in place with the clip. The reason I like this barrel so much, I love the clip on it because I think it really helps to keep your hair in place while you're curling your hair. As well as that, I really like the actual size of the barrel so it's not one of those ones that starts off big and ends up small. So it's like the same width all the way down the barrel, which is what I really like about it because I think it gives more even curls and that's just a look that I've been going for more recently. So wait around 20 seconds and then I take the hair down. So you can see a little curl there. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep repeating the same process. Once I've done half of the head, I will use my hairspray, but not yet. So I'm going to grab another piece here. You're going to make sure that the barrel is fully heated before you do it. The only negative part about this curling wand is you can see the light there. That's on when it's on and off when it's off. There is no in between. So when it's heating up, it doesn't like flash or anything. Like with my um, straighteners, they make a noise and they've heated. Or with my other curling wand, it flashes until it's fully heated. This one, you don't get any of that. So you don't know when it's fully heated. You just kind of got to give it a little guess. And then I've done that piece, so I throw it to the back. This is why I like to make sure I split it in half and bring my, all my hair to the front. So I've got clear curls where I have and haven't done. Because that's the most annoying part, is when you can't remember which bits you've done, or if you end up missing a piece. I split this last bit into two, and I've got one of the bits here. So I've got my last piece for the lower part of this side. I'm just going to start this up here, and then slowly wrap it round. So I like to make it wrapped as tightly as possible so the curls are more defined and less loose. So when I let my hair go, I lift a little wand. So when I actually let my hair go out of the wand, I keep holding this little piece here, I lift that there and I kind of slide it onto my hand so the curls all sat on my hand and then just slowly let it go down so it's not just being released straight off the wand and sometimes it can get tangled up and that kind of thing. So I think that's the best way for me personally to do it. So if it's a small look curl, like this one's not as much hair, I do like to hold it on for less amount of time. And I do like to try and make the curls like a bit further apart if you can see on the wand, rather than closer together. I feel like this makes the curl a lot nicer and a lot neater. As well as that if I don't leave it on for as long, it's less likely to go as frizzy and less likely to actually burn my hair. So that is the bottom section now done and I'm just going to move on to my next section. So I forgot to mention at the start of this video that I always use heat protecting spray before I curl my hair. I use the Tresemme one and this works wonders. It just protects your hair and makes sure it doesn't get damaged from curling it. So now that bottom section is done, I'm going to be grabbing a bobble out of the top section. So I'm unclipping that and then use the bobble we had from before 
to hold this part of my hair down but I don't want to tie the bobble too tightly because I don't want to affect the curls and then we can bring this section back down again so I'm going to use the clip to clip this bit of hair back up here on top of my hair just to make sure we don't end up curling this bit by accident so I've got my hair there and I'm just going to clip that in place so what we also need to be doing as we're going along is hairspraying my hair. So now we've got the second section of hair down. I'm going to do just what I did with the first section and I'm going to split this in half. One half goes on the front and the left and one half I'm going to pull to the front of the right. So I'm again going to be working from the back to the front because I feel like this makes your hair look a lot more organised. And it's just so much easier to do it that way. Because if you do it the other way around I always find that I either get pieces of hair mixed up or the piece of hair look a lot more messy because they get like tangled so I think it's just a lot easier to do it this way so I'm just taking these sections and I'm taking about three or four of these ones I think so I do like to split them into section about three or four for each side so that section is now done and I'm going to use my hairspray I don't think I actually mentioned this before which hairspray that I'm using this is the Pantene Pro V Ultra Strong Hold Hairspray I got this from Home Bargains and I've never actually used this one before until I bought it. So the normal one that I'd get was out of stock which was Tresemme. But this one, they had this in a big one but they did have a small Tresemme one. But it was so much better value to buy this and now I've bought this one I'm never going back. It's such a good one. I still like the Tresemme one but this one's just been working wonders for my hair. This one is the Hold Level 5 which might be why it's so good. But yeah I just use this on each section of hair once I've done it. I don't like to put too much on because I want my hair to be a bit cool before I do anything else with it. I just apply it a little bit just to help hold it in place. And this one, again, I think I'm going to split into three. So I'm just going to take the first third here. So I'm just going to wrap this again around my wand and do the exact same thing we've been doing. I feel like it's taken me so long to actually curl my hair and find a way that I genuinely like it curled. Like before when I curled it, it was just too much because it was like really like ringlet it and it hadn't dropped out yet and that just wasn't me. I wasn't a fan of that. But now I've really found a way that I like and it used to take me like three hours to curl my hair. I've managed to get it down to like half an hour and 45 minutes. The longer my hair is getting, the longer it is taking but I am kind of happy with the results and it can last like two days can this so I like to wash my hair like last night I washed my hair and then I'll curl my hair this morning and then I'll wash it again tomorrow night so I've got two full days of my hair being curled I say this morning but it's like one o'clock in the afternoon now I spent so much time filming all day and then I'm gonna go live again later on this evening as well well this afternoon and then this evening so I'm just taking this next section here and then the final one for this section. This again is a smaller and thinner piece, so I don't want to do it for as long and I'd like my curls to be spread a little bit more apart, as you can see there. But again, with it being thinner, I don't want it to like burn or to even snap my hair off because I've seen that before. So we're just going to be a little bit more gentle with this piece here and then we're just going to release it there. So there we go. Also, you need a lot less like kind of like heat on it to actually curl those pieces. So you can see it's starting to come together a little bit more now. So I'm just going to... And now for the final section. So I'm going to take these clips out here. But I will be putting them back in in a second. I'm just going to re-put this up here just so it's all out of the way. So I can use the other bobble to section it all off at the back. And I'm going to re-bobble everything just so I've got all of this hair out of the way. So we know what we have and haven't curled. And now we're going to take the last section down. I know a lot of people, like a lot of hairdressers, like to curl their hair and then once they've curled it, so they've got the little curl in the hand there and then they like to pin it in their hair like that, so it's like pinned, but I don't personally like that one as much. For some people I think it looks really cute, but for me I'm personally not a fan, just because I feel like it's too ringlety for me. I don't feel like it suits like my face shape and that kind of thing. I'm going to do exactly the same as I've done as the rest of the video and I'm going to be starting from the back and working my way forwards. There's probably going to be a few more sections in this one, just because overall there is more hair for this section. So we're starting at the back and doing the exact same thing. So I'd also really recommend getting a heat protector mat. This is what I've got. I use it all the time to lay my curling wand on when I'm not using it. So when it's actually heating up or cooling down, I would stick it on my little heat protector mat, which is on the floor, and it's like a silicone mat. 
and it's really really good because it protects your carpet but it also protects you from getting burnt so if you haven't already i'd definitely invest in one of these i think mine was like a pound from primark which was really really good so i'm just going to split this one into two more sections and that's four sections in total for the top that i'm going to be doing currently can't feel my legs the pins and needles has now progressed so i like to do this little bit here at the end because this is like my little curly bit that i leave down when i put the rest of my hair up so i'm now going to do the last section of my hair which is going to be this section here and again starting at the back and working my way to the front If any sections that need like recurling or anything like that I can see so at the moment I can take one little strand of hair like there that needs recurling but other than that I think I'm okay yeah other than that I'm okay so I'm just gonna recurl this one little piece here which I'm not gonna lie when I was curling I did see one little piece so I think this must have been it and then that piece is now curled so I'm going to respray my hair but like as a whole head to make sure it's all in place so so usually what I do is I actually straighten the tops of my hair but it's not actually looking too frizzy today I did use a different shampoo and conditioner so I think it's kind of like helped to the frizziness so I'm going to leave that but the next thing that I would do is I'd put my hair up into little sections. So I'm going to take this piece of hair here and I'm just going to pull it to the back of my head. I'm going to grab a little bit more at the back as well. I like this because I feel like it keeps some of the hair out of my face. But you can still see the curls and it still looks quite nice. So that's what I've done on that side. I'm just going to do the same thing at the other side. So that's my hair there tied up and now I'm just going to curl these two front bits here. It's so much easier to do it once the rest of my hair is out of the way. So I like to try curl, so I prefer to curl away from my face. This isn't always the best way to do it but especially with the front pieces I do like to curl away from my face. So I like to leave it a couple of seconds. Again I don't want to leave it too long because I do not want my hair to end up falling off or anything. And I don't want to burn it so a couple more seconds. I like to drag it down a little bit so then it doesn't get like stuck in one position it's like sometimes you can end up with like a weird kink or like a weird like flat bit so i like to just try and make sure it's nice so i'm just gonna do it like that there so guys that is it thank you so much for watching this day's video this is me and how i curl my hair i hope you guys enjoyed this i do like to let it give it about an hour to let it settle and to let it kind of just fall a little bit this is how I cut my hair. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, do not forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below other videos you'd like to see. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. But that is pretty much it for me for today. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys. So, I can't feel my legs. I've lost my phone. And I've burnt about five maybe six fingerprints off in this video call it a success though